All right, so just like last time, we did the top five offensive overrated players. Guess what? Now we're doing the top five defensive overrated players. And it's going to be the same thing as last time. We're going to have some honorable mentions. So let's get right into it. At number five, we got Chris Jones. Um, he's going for 100K, right? He's tall, but here's my thing with the tackles, you know. If you're slow, your moves better make up for it. And his moves do not make up for it. 95 power move is the only thing you're getting out of him. And it's not that good. That's that's mediocre average. Even with a power up, it goes to 96. That's average, right? This card should not be going for 100K. It should be going for like 15 to 20K. This shit's trash. And if you bought this, you, you got jugged. <laughs> you got jugged. So... Overrated ass card, stay away. At number four, we got Derek Brooks. Now, this card's going for 149K. You wouldn't believe the stats. This might be the worst, one of the worst cards I've ever seen in Madden history. I don't, you know, usually I try not to bash the coverage linebacker cards. I try not to fuck with them. Just stay away from them. I don't talk about them. But I don't know what the fuck he's supposed to be doing. He's not fast, he's weak. He can't block. He can't get off a block. What the fuck is this card supposed to be doing? This shit is god awful. What in the fuck? I, I, I this, this is bad. I don't know who said to release this shit. I don't know if he's getting a golden ticket or something, but man, does he fucking need it? This, this, this shit is god awful. I, you know what? I really wanted to put this shit at number one, but it's going for 149k. That's already a jug at that. Right, that's already a jug at that. You know what? I'm I wish I bumped him up. I'm sorry. I didn't bump him up. This is a terrible card. Number three, we got Dwight Freeney. Going for 450k. Now, his finesse move is what's got him going, right? So you think this isn't really a bad card. Here's my issue with it. It's going for 450k. Right? That's an issue for me when you can get Mr. Bruce Smith for nowhere near that price who is better than Dwight Freeney. So why would you want this card that isn't as good as a card that's on my top five best right end defensive lineman period? This, the, you know, like I said, it's not bad, but for that price, it turns into a card that you wouldn't want to ever buy. He's fast. I give him that. You're looking at... 94 speed, fast. 98 excel. He's, he's fast as shit. But I just feel like there's way better D lineman for a way cheaper price. You know, if I could, I, I'll say this: Derek Brooks is still worse than this card. I wish I, I put it like this. How about this? We're gonna put the white for any of four. Derek Brooks has now moved up to number three. How about that? So at number two, we got Richard Sherman. And he's going for 174k, and he is slow as fuck, right? The most important part of being a corner is being fast. The max speed you are getting with this man is 94 speed without a theme team. Without a theme team. That is fucking god awful. He will be burnt by every man on the field. <laughs> If I see Richard Sherman, I'm going to get real excited. I'm telling you, I'm going to get really, I'm going to get excited. This card is, it's actually really bad. For, and it, for selling it for this much, that's a joke. But, but, I'm going to put Derrick Brooks as being worse than Richard Sherman. So, Richard Sherman is now number three. Derrick Brooks is now number two. Because he's just that fucking bad. Now, before we get to the number one spot, we got some honorable mentions. And the first one is Simeon Rice. Now, he, he he's kind of like another Dwight Freeney, right? Which is why Dwight Freeney has a spot and he doesn't. Because he's a lot fucking cheaper. Which is, this is what, honestly, this is about what Dwight Freeney's price should be. Because I still got him over Simeon Rice. But this is like a poor man's version of him. And it... I, I still don't, I just don't like the price. A hundred K? There's better choices. I, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Next honorable mention is Willie Brown. And my thing with this card is, it is dog shit. Yup. 
The max speed you get with this shit, 90 fucking 7. For a corner, no. Excel, 96? No. You, 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 and as a corner, I 98 speed is what I will take as acceptable. That's acceptable. That there's you can't be anything lower than that. Nothing lower than that. And yeah, you know maybe if his height made up for it, but no, I no 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 no. Now for the final honorable mention, we got Jason Pierre-Paul. Now I know he's dirt cheap, right? But he's also dirt motherfucking shit, right? Yeah, you see that little finesse move. Or you're like, oh my god, oh my god. But he's outside linebacker. Don't forget that. His block shutting is god awful. That's very important. He is dirt fucking slow. He's slow. He he's got that good good ass finesse move, but I know defensive linemen that are fucking faster than him. And like I say he's dirt cheap, so it's like okay, but he's also dirt fucking trash. And number one, we got Craven LeBlanc. He, he's, it's a hurt because it, it hurts me because it's an eagle. But you know, you look at the stats, you're like, oh my gosh, why is he on this list, right? He's 440,000 coins, and there are dead ass. He, he is him and Byron Jones are dead ass the same exact card, except Byron Jones has one more. No, he has two more inches on him, and Craven's 5'10. So, like. Being short at corner, it, it, that, that's not a vibe. That's not a vibe. You don't want that shit. And Byron Jones, six foot, same exact stats as this guy. I'm sorry, but that that this is a joke. It's a motherfucking joke. And there's way better corners. Way cheaper. So, Craven, no go. Don't waste it. Don't. Even if you, like, put him in the pack, like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Sell him. Sell him. So that was our top five overrated defensive players. Like, sub, comment, tell your friends, fuck with your boy, man. Come on. I'm out.